After this summit, uh, the Chinese leadership has uh, shown to be in a dilemma. It attempts to continue the extremely profitable economic relationship it has with us in the EU in order to keep its economic out of recession. At the same time, China signals support for Putin and his war in order to balance against NATO. China is also the country, if I may remind you, which believes that it can bully one of our member states into submission with a mix of economic and diplomatic coercion and secondary sanctions. Even before Putin shattered the long-loved fairy tale of the change through trade, the EU found it harder and harder to cooperate with authoritarian regimes that break international law on a daily basis. We must do our part to make it clear to Chinese policy planners that this double game is not going to work. Our economic anti-coercion instrument comes at a very timely moment for this. Designing it to be quickly applicable and veto-proofing against single member states should be our goal, not just to help China decide which side it is on, but to signal to all authoritarian regimes that they either play by common rules or that they will stop profiting from our export market, our technology and our investments and trade. I will thank you once this is done. Thank you, Ms. Gregorova.